Mahalo for tuning in to Island Focus and joining me in conversing with State Senator Brickwood Galatera. Thank you so much, Brick. I haven't seen you in a long time. Nice to see you too. I'm glad to see that you're back on air and hosting <laughs> this wonderful show. The show is about leadership and you certainly have provided leadership in all your different career forms over the years. Mm. How is it now? I love what I'm doing. You know, I, it's all about public service for me and I'd like to engage everybody to get involved with public service in any way possible. Not everybody's going to be an elected official, but certainly the constituents play large in our decision making. So talk, vote. And you've always been very deliberate about engaging the community in conversations. What are your, your topics right now that are most near and dear to your heart? For me, down at the Capitol, I've put in a lot of energy towards uh, Kupuna, Kupuna protections allowing for the kupuna to understand uh, what's working for them in government, what's available for them in government. I call that kupuna power, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and so that's one of the big, big initiatives that uh, I certainly get behind constantly, all the time. So uh, aside from just quality of life issues, uh, you know, uh, delivering for my community, which is Kaka'ako, Ala Moana, Waikiki, Makali Mo'ili, Ili. It's got to be the most vibrant growth going on in Hawaii today. So I want to be right there. I was born and raised in the area. And so I feel connected. And that's the same kind of energy that you brought into the entertainment field when you were there. Yeah, you know, I fed my family, put the roof over my family's head with my guitar. And, <laughs> and so when people tell me, hey, listen, you, you used to be a musician, then you did some radio, some TV, and now you're a state senator. What does that feel like? I tell them, lateral move. <laughs> Straight across. And Everyone it's, has its, its purpose. And it's possible for everybody, right, to find uh, their path if they just pay attention. Yeah, pay attention. And uh, cooperate, listen, and then uh, discern, distill, and decide. you got to decide at some point to get things going for yourself, right? So if you had pearls of wisdom from that, your varied career, and we were joking about reaching the kupuna power oh, age yeah. ourselves. Oh, yes. What would you share? When you look around, there's so much energy, so much knowledge to be gained. We'll go back to the kupuna as an example. Okay, I'm, uh, one of my biggest stories for me is when I went, I took my mother to, was it IHOP or Denny's or something like that, and the waitress turned to her and said, do you want your kupuna breakfast now? She says, yes, and then turned to me. She said, do you want your kupuna breakfast now? And then that, I realized, my gosh, you know, I can learn, but I can, I can teach. I want to be a part of the community and, and in this particular day, what can I do to contribute? How can I help my grandchildren now to prepare them? You know, just keep on telling you know, you'll be Papa's age one day and you want to be as, as a contributing member of our community. And the kupuna power aspect is because I know that we were chatting earlier that you're concerned about kupuna being preyed upon. Yes, the, the landscape is very predatory and you would want better from people. Obviously, it doesn't happen that way. So personally, you know, some of my family members got scammed. And so it was from that that I decided, okay, that'll be almost a life's mission for me to empower the kupuna so that they can empower others while empowering themselves. So that's where I am right now. And empowering means informing and giving them options and... Yes, and knowing what their options are. I mean, uh, clearly having the government work for them, you know, putting the right people there, Hopefully I'm, you know, I'll remain one of them. I love what I do in the state Senate, but who knows what my path will be. I, I enjoy, I got back to my music. You know, we're a couple of days, a uh, month in church. The kahu asked me, do you know praise band music? I said, hey, if you want jazz and Hawaiian, you, I, I'm done with that. <laughs> <laughs> and we go from there. So I think right now it's a good time in life. And I want to encourage your, your viewers to, you know, focus, right? On their, on their, the goodness in their lives, because there's always going to be bad stuff. Yeah. But the goodness, I think, is what you want to gravitate towards. Well, thank you for bringing your goodness on our show today. I appreciate you being here. Yeah. Good luck to you. You've been listening to Island Focus and tuning in to a conversation with Senator Brickwood Galatera. Thank you.